Hi, my name is Laura Lynn. I'm the head of product here at Empira. And today I wanna to show you how easy it is to get started using Empira to extract data from your documents in just minutes. And also I wanna highlight a couple of new features that we just launched. So first, let's get started creating an account. So I'm gonna click try for free. I'm gonna input my email and password. And then an account is created for me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the documents that I want to extract information from. It's important in this step that you choose documents that are in the same format. So I have four purchase orders that are in the same format and I'm gonna get those documents started. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna highlight the information that I want to extract in one of my files and then Empira will automatically find matches in the other files um, that I just uploaded. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so let's look at my first file. We can see we have four files over here. This is the fourth one. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Add Field. The first thing I'm gonna show you is our text extraction. So let's say I want the address. I'm gonna highlight the address and then I'm gonna name it. Oops, got a little eager, over eager on that one. Let me try it again. Address, we'll call it street. And you can see that Empire automatically was able to read what I had just highlighted using OCR. And what it's doing now is it's looking at the other documents to find that same information. So let's take a look at this purchase order. It looks good, it found that information. Let's keep going. Now this one looks like it had a little bit of trouble. Ah, uh, I see why, it's not rotated the right way. So the great news is that now we have a new feature where you can um, modify your documents inside of Empiro. So I'm gonna click this little arrow and click modify file. And now I can rotate documents. I can split them into two different documents. I don't wanna do that right now though. And I can also delete pages. So once I've rotated and deleted, I can click save. Now ideally I do this before I start extracting um, because what's gonna happen is Empire is gonna go back behind the scenes, reprocess this document and see if it can find a good prediction. All right, let's take a look at our last document. And sure enough, there we go. We can see in the last document, it looks good. And let's go back to our previous one. And it looks like it found it um, now that it's rotated the right way. Great job. All right, let's also get that city, state, and zip. All right, and it looks like it's looking for city, state, and zip in my other files. You can see this little preview down here. Voila, looks good. All right, now let's say I wanna extract something a little bit more complicated. So let's say I wanna extract this table here. So Empira is now um, great at e extracting repeated data like a table. So we're gonna this time click table over here. We're gonna name our table. I'm gonna call this line items. And what I'm gonna do is follow the little prompts. It says highlight your first row. Okay, I'm gonna draw a box over that first row. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is highlight the value, the columns that I want in each row. So I want the quantity and then I want the unit and then I want the description um, and then I want the price and then finally the total. All right, now I'm done. So now what Empire is gonna do is it's gonna look at this first row and it's gonna look further down the document to see if it can see other rows that match that same pattern. So here, we can see right here, it's thinking and voila, look, I found the other two rows in the document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, that looks great. I'm gonna confirm the entire row. The more information that I tell Empira, the better off it does on your other documents. So. Um, anytime you confirm an entire row, whether it's pressing this button or whether it's pressing this little um, check mark next to each value, it will start repredicting on the rest of the document. So um, not only does it look on this document, it also looks at the other documents. So let's take a look at these. All right. So we can see right here um, on this document, um, you can see it's not quite sure about this prediction. So what we can do is we can tell it, hey, this is the quantity that I wanted. And when I click confirm value, all these rest of these look good, and then confirm the entire row, um, Empire will go back and say, okay, let's automate, let's find those other matches now that we know where that first value is. So we should see this um, come up in a little bit. 
Let's check some of our other documents. All right, so it looks like it's missed these two. Now, sometimes what I do is I'll wait until it stops um, spinning because when it's spinning or what you can see right here when it's flashing, it's still taking the last input that I gave it um, to train uh, further. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. And while that's running, I'm gonna just, there we go. Oh, that looks good. Um, so I'm gonna add the description, miss the description right here. I confirm that row. Let's check out some of our other files. All right. Looks like it figured out um, where quantity was now, but it's still missing that description. I'm gonna let it think a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of file view, and I'm gonna show you what the final um, product will look like. So this is the, um, the table that um, shows you all of the files and all of the data that I extracted. So you can see the street and the city and the state and the zip and those line items. And you can still see it's still um, thinking what's, uh, what's happening behind the scenes right now. So we're gonna give it a little bit more time. And, ah, great. So now I can see um, the, the inputs that I gave it helped it become a little bit smarter. And now we can see these all look good. I'm gonna, um, I can either go file by file to look at it, or I could go um, straight to that table view and say, okay, it looks pretty good. I also can look for to see if there's any of that orange reddish color to see if there's any predictions that have a low confidence. I see only high confidence predictions, so I'm feeling pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download my information. So I'm gonna download it as a CSV, which is a format that works for um, Excel, it works for Google Sheets, um, and it looks something like this. You can see we have our, um, our four files, the um, items that we extracted. Now, the cool thing about Empira is you can extend it using our API. Um, you can also import using our email integration. You can download with webhooks or API as well. So we are very excited um, to show you these new features and we hope you have a great time getting started with Empira. Thanks, bye.